Now for the rest of this lesson, I'm going to be showing a case study of how you actually come up with a numerical model to solve a real problem. In this case, we're going to do projectile motion, but we're going to put drag in. So your first step is to start writing your uh, Python program. So um, I assume most people are going to do it use it at glowscript.org, in which case you need to sign in. your Google account. Then you go to your programs, either by clicking on your username up here or programs down there. And then we want to create new problem and give it a name. We can call it something like projectile. I never really used that one, so let's call it proj2. If you prefer, you can do it using any other Python environment. Um, if you're familiar with, with it because of Comp 1730, you can use Spider. So like that, you'd go into Anaconda Navigator, um, go to Spider, launch it, and create a new file. Now for this, you're going to need to give it uh, start off with from the Python import star. You don't need that in Glowstrip because it's the default. Okay, so what the problem we're going to solve is we're going to have a tower and we're going to throw a ball off the tower. Now the best way to write computer programs is step by step. Don't try and write the entire thing and then run it because you will invariably make lots of errors and it'll be really confusing which it is. So what you do is you write a little bit, run it, test it, make sure it's doing what you expect, then add a bit more, run it, test it, make sure that's doing what you expect and slowly, bit by bit, build up a working program. So first of all, what I'm going to want to do is have the ground and a tower. So let's have the ground. Um, I'm going to put a comment saying set up landscape. So something that starts with a hash is a comment. Um, Python ignores it. It's purely for humans to help you understand what your program is written. So when you come back to it a month from now, you'll understand, oh, that's what I'm doing there. And I'm going to call the ground ground. And I'm going to set it use as a box. So it's going to be a box. Now where am I going to put it? Um, the middle of the screen is going to be coordinate 0, 0, 0. So I want to move the box down a bit so I've got room to fire projectiles around. So I'm going to give it a position equals... Position has to be a vector. This is the center of the box. If you're unclear about any of the syntax, go to Help. Choose a 3D object and box and it will give you all the syntax you need for doing boxes. So position vector, uh, let's see, I'm going to put it maybe, um, it's going to be in the middle, in the x-axis, you've got x in this direction, y in this direction, and z coming out of the screen. So I want it in the middle of x, in the middle of z, but down a bit in y. So let's put it at 0x, minus 3y, 0z. I want to give it a size, so let's make it, uh, I don't know, length equals 10, width equals, I don't know, 6. Um, but I don't want it to be thin at the bottom, so height equals hmm, maybe 0 0.1. And I'm going to give it a color. Let's have a nice grassy ground, shall we? So color equals color dot green. Okay, and let's see if that'll work. Click to run this program, and that seems to have worked. We have a flat green thing at the bottom. And I can right-click and move my mouse around and view it from different points of view. OK, that's looking good. I'm going to go back to edit this program. So that's the ground. Now I want a tower. So uh, let's call it tower, imaginative A. It's also going to be a box. And now I want it to be over on one side, let's say on the... Uh, um, left-hand side. So I'm give it a position equals vector. Uh, let's say this grass goes from starts at the zero in x and goes 
length 10, so it's going from minus 5 to plus 5. So let's put this at minus 5, 0, 0. Oh, now I want it tall, so its length is not going to be that big. So let's say length equals 1, width equals 1, and make it nice and tall. So we've got the ground going from minus 3 to plus 3, so maybe if we have a height equals 6, that might do the trick. Uh, what color should make this? Let's say color equals, let's make it blue. But take your pick. Okay, let's see if that works. Let's run this program. Okay, that's looking pretty good. We've now got a tower on the left that we can fire our balls off. So now let's set up a projectile. So again, I'm putting a comment in here. You don't need this, it makes no difference to the code. It's just so that when I come back and read it, you know, a day from now, I'll know what the hell I was up to. And I'm going to have our projectile as a ball. So I'll call it ball. You can call it anything you like. Um, except don't call it something like box or sphere, because those are actually commands in Python. You want to call it something that's not a command. So we'll call it a sphere. And we're going to start it off at the top of the tower. So, so the tower is, starts at x is minus 5. Vertically, the tower's center of the tower is 0, but it's got a height 6, so it's going from um, 0 minus 3 to 0 plus 3. So it's going to plus 3. So let's put it at plus 3. 0 radius. Let's make it, I say, 0.5. And what color should we have this? Let's say color equals color dot red, let's say. And I've made a typo there, but I'm going to not fix it right away because you see there's an error message over here. It says color dash is not a function on or near line 8. And it has no balls appeared here. So something is wrong. So if we go back to edit this program, I said that instead of color equals color dot red, I've got a color dash color dot red. So let's replace that with equals, and hopefully it'll work now. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's working, but it's not quite what I want. Um, the ball is half embedded in the tower. I really want the ball resting on the top of the tower. Um, how do we fix that? Well, I guess the position of the ball is the position of the center of the ball, which is also the position of the top of the tower, so it's half embedded. So if we increase its position to be, say, um, 3.5, because the radius of the ball is 0 0.5, that should then have it going on top. Let's check if that works. Yeah, that's better. It's now sitting on top of the tower. OK. So we've passed our first tips. We have a working Python program, and we've created the landscape that we need. We've got the ground, the tower, and the ball.